Everybody, I want you to listen to me. UFC management to give me a world title shot. Oh, there we go. Bam. Oh. Yeah. Please, I want the bell so bad. Give it to me. What? Athleticism and power by George St. Pierre. At least Sean Shark has a broken nose. His nose is a bloody mess. I fought you the first time. He beat me fair and square. But now I'm a, I'm a lot better than I was when I fought him the first time. And I want a, a rematch against him. So please. Give it to me. Wow. It's it. all over. Matt Hughes has defeated Hoist Gracie. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. And it's all over. Matt Hughes remains the welterweight champion. I knew that I'd lost the first two rounds, but that meant I had three left over, so I knew I had a chance. You finally vindicated yourself in beating the only man to take your title. What, what is next for you, Matt? You know, George is next in line, so let's, uh, let's go. I'm very glad you won that fight, Matt, but uh, I'm not impressed by your performance. That's his opinion. It might stink, but it's his opinion. After I watched BJ and George, I said I wasn't impressed by either one of them. Then he jumps in the octagon and says the same thing to me. What I said to Matt Hughes was, was true. I was not impressed by his victory. He can't think of anything else to say but what I said to him. The mistake I did is to say that in front of five million pay-per-view viewers and all the crowd in the arena. How many weeks later, and I've not even thought about it, and he's still bringing it up, trying to defend himself. So I'm, it's pretty obvious I'm in his head. I respect him, I respect his skill, I respect him as a man, but I'm not afraid of him. There's so many variables that are gonna be different this time. We're both different fighters than when we fought last time. When I fought Matt Hughes the first time, I remember in the stare downs, I couldn't even look him in the eyes because I was too impressed. I was fighting my idol. I was fighting a, a guy that, for me, it was impossible to beat. He made a mistake. Uh, doesn't change anything to what, whatever he thought going into the fight. Do the fan want to see me fight for the title? I begged the UFC so many times for it, and now it's my chance, and I'm not going to let it go. Let's get it on. Come on. Table the table. The champion, the American, 33 years old, eight years the elder of the French-Canadian challenger, George St. Pierre. Everything else is virtually even. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is big John McCarthy. All right, gentlemen, for the UFC Welterweight Championship, I gave you instructions to address the grab any questions from the challenger. Any questions from the champion? Big hands. He definitely stared him down. Well, I've been waiting for this for a long time since George St. Pierre was on his knees in the octagon. Oh, Thank you. Give me please. a shot at the title. And here it is tonight. George St. Pierre. Matt Hughes for the welterweight right, championship. Here we go, here we go. You ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on. Big John McCarthy gets us started. Round number. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Matt has greatly improved his striking skills. The chant of USA for the longtime American champion against the French Canadian tonight. George St. Pierre is loved by all in his home country of Canada and tons of American fans, especially as he has gained it, the popularity on the Ultimate Fighter 4. George doing a nice job of moving, changing the angles. George St. Pierre kicks. is one of the greatest athletes that has ever been in the octagon. Very, very dynamic athlete. Nice straight, long punches by George. High kick. And versatile with his striking. Good leg kick, a smile on Hughes' face. Very quick, he mixes, his th mixes things up very well. Matt also doing a good job. Throwing some nice combinations, countering well. Landing a couple kicks of his own. That nice little left inside kick, an overhand right. We've gone from USA to GSP. George St. Pierre in the blue trunks. Matt Hughes in the camouflage trunks. George using his long range very well. 
Man, he really snaps a hip. Spinning back kick. Remember, he landed with that in the first matchup in Oakland, but didn't follow up. Might have caught him a little bit low, so a little show of class by both fighters. There might have been a war of words, Randy, but these guys still dearly respect each oh, other. Oh, absolutely. A lot of There's... it was gamemanship by Matt. He was trying to get into George's head. Well, I think gamemanship by George, too, to step up and say yeah. what he said in the ring as well. He's, he's like, hey, I, I don't, you know, I'm here to, to take your title. Absolutely. It's the thing he dearly most wants. Nice stiff jab by George St. Pierre. Really using his range well. Left kick and sometimes that sometimes that left kick will slide up the leg and hit you in the in the groin. Yeah, Matt said that was square. Slipped GSP up. apologized right. immediately. Hit the leg and slipped up. You all right? I think it looked like right. it's just George's toes grazed Matt. There we go. Because I could see the shin on the thigh and it looked like the ankle came around and the toes grazed him. Yep, inadvertent for sure. Oh, did he catch him again? Now we got to be careful. Time, time, time. That one did some damage. Listen to me. Listen to me. Your foot is hitting here and it's sliding up. Okay? It's not that you're intending to do it. I understand that, okay? But you gotta make it a clean slide but not yeah. let it come up, okay? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Again, the shin bone is hitting the thigh where George is aiming, but the ankle is coming around and whipping back in the cup. It's the toes and the foot that is actually doing the damage, but the shin and where the kick is intended is landing where it's supposed to. Matt can take all the time he needs here to recover. No foul, no foul. It's not an intentional foul. But George can't afford to land another one of these errant shots, or there will be a yellow card. There will be a foul. And Randy, now do you... Do you get into the head of George St. Pierre that he can't throw that kick anymore, though? Uh, I don't know that it's going to bother him. I know okay. he, he knows he didn't do it intentionally. Matt tried to and catch that. That may be exactly what he's trying to set up is the higher kick. He likes to throw that high kick, the kick to the body or the head with that left kick. St. Pierre coming across with a hook. Matt has not thought about a takedown yet. Uppercut by Hughes. There was a left yep, kick there. Exactly he's coming back to it. I mean, yep, that's good. Know. Oh, cut him. Now trying to clinch. Nice work by George. Matt keeps uh, smiling after the exchanges, though. It's going to take a lot to take that belt away from Matt Hughes. George is landing the better shots. The nice long jab, following it with the overhand right. Matt hurt, gets hurt. He goes to look to bend for the takedown. And George goes to the clinch. I mean, George is doing a very nice job here. Nice takedown by George. Catches the foot. Takes Matt down. George St. Pierre has sparred with Nate Marquardt and Keith Jardine, Rashad Evans to get George prepared passing, for this battle tonight. Passing the half guard, landing a couple of nice shots from the top position. Matt hanging on to the arm. Nice punches. Matt scrambling up. Oh, nice good knee. knee by St. Pierre. Nice work by George St. Pierre here. Great job done by the challenger here in round one. So quick and elusive. Moves his head, moves to the angle so well. Matt peeks up to the scoreboard, Randy checks out the clock. 35 seconds remaining in round number one. St. Pierre coming in with a jab, moving back out quickly. Great footwork by George St. Pierre. They both kick it the There's same There's the time. attempt to take down by Matt. Nice double underhooks. Matt trying to, GSP doing a great job of scrambling wow. out of that takedown. What a job done by George St. Pierre. We rarely see Hughes get his arms around someone and they not go down. Very nice job by George to counter scramble out of that double underhook. And the power of Matt Hughes. Oh, Hughes Superman hurts. punch caught him. Hughes is hurt. Matt Hughes is hurt. And thought John was stopping the fight there. Barely heard the bell with the roar of the crowd. Wow! He opened him up. Absolutely dominant round number one by George St. Pierre. Look at this replay. Look at 
the ceiling. Takedown here. Superman punch right in the head. Nice shot by George. Followed by a nice little left hook. Very nice. Matt Hughes goes to a knee. St. Pierre, he landed jabs, he landed leg kicks, inside leg kicks, several right hands, even a spinning back kick. But what marked that round was that, la that left hook at the end of the round. It's all George St. Pierre. I don't think Matt Hughes is going to be able to take him down for a while. Remember, the first fight ended with one second remaining in the first round. The irony there would have been amazing. What may have truly been the most impressive part of round one for St. Pierre was when he got bear hugged by Hughes. He didn't go down. Absolutely. We have not seen anybody stop Matt Hughes's takedown abilities, with the exception of maybe BJ Penn for the first two rounds, but then, you know, he shot his wad trying to do that. I'll tell you one thing. Neither, neither guy's going to. Yeah, I understand. You know, Rogan's not here, so you got to say something like that. <laughs> I get it. Just to know, just to let Joe know we're thinking of him. Oh! So dynamic, this guy. So many different tools in his toolkit. And so much stronger mentally than he was at the War of 04 at UFC 50 when they first met. Oh, nice stiff jab. Hero worship is gone. Caught him again. He's keying off Matt's jab, slipping outside and throwing a long jab of his own. It's, oh! oh. shot Play. Here's the end of the fight. Nice jabs by George. Kick to the head, right to the side of the head. As Matt was thinking, takedown. Grounded pound, landed some big shots. It wasn't until he went to the elbow here on the top that John saw that Matt wasn't defending himself. What a difference from the first fight. When he stuns Hughes, he goes in for the finish, unlike in the first matchup, Randy. Shin bone right to the head. And the torch is passed tonight here in Sacramento. Overcome with emotion, George Rush, St. Pierre. Tears of joy and now a huge smile on the face of the new welterweight champion, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, referee John McCarthy has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 25 seconds of the second round. For the winner by knockout, and now the new UFC welterweight champion of the world, George Hurst.